Good morning. Today is day three. It's the 15th. I think it's the 15th. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 15th. I don't know. I just woke up. I keep looking at the wrong place. Sorry. That is... The sun is coming out at some point. But as you can tell, it's another cloudy day. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hi. Usaka Sakabo and welcome to days three and four of my journey. Now, today is going to be a little different than the other days for two reasons. Number one, I joined two days because one day I did walk and the other day I did not. Second, because I had some things going and I wanted to show you what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. If I'm trying to do accountability, I have to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And so I decided to show you what is, goes on other than the walk on some days. Now, you have to remember that I have to eat gluten-free, so everything that you're going to see for me is gluten-free. If you see anything with gluten, it's probably for hubby or daughter. Now, one of the things that happened yesterday is I did walk the three miles, but for some reason, I took the screenshots from the iPhone, but I did not take the screenshots from the Fitbit. Now, that ended up working in my favor because that way I can explain to you how I'm coming up with the numbers and how I'm determining the numbers and, and, and the whole thing about the 70,000 steps because I figure I will give you an insight into what is in my brain. But the one thing I want you to remember is that the numbers for the Fitbit and the iPhone never match. And that's important because the iPhone I only have when I walk in the mornings because I don't carry the iPhone all the time. The Fitbit, on the other hand, unless I'm taking a shower or I'm charging it, it's usually in my wrist. So that is supposed to be a more exact uh, determination of how many steps I make. Now, the odd thing about that is this. If you look at the numbers in the mornings, you have to remember, I get up in the morning, I already have the Fitbit on. I get in the bathroom, change, come outside, get the phone, put it in my pocket, then I walk out the door, go to the park, walk, and then come back home. I take the screenshots when I finish the walk. That's the way I've always done it. And you would think that because I have the Fitbit the whole time, I would have more steps on the Fitbit than on the iPhone. Ironically, that's never the case. 101 times out of 100, <laughs> the iPhone actually has more steps than the Fitbit. But to me, it's just a matter of averages and I use it to determine, you know, I want to have a, a, how do you call this, a baseline. Not necessarily an exact point, and it's okay with me if, if they don't match. Now, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday, Wednesday, I walked the three miles, then I came home, took a shower, and went straight to the pharmacy at the Publix, where I was provided with my shot, the booster shot. I am not going to argue whether or not this is a good idea or not. It is what it is. It's done. We have another surge in cases in the state of Florida. I'm not going to keep on keeping on pretending like I care about people that don't take their shots. If you don't take your shot and you don't take precautions, and I'm not talking about people that can't take their shots, I'm talking about the people that can take their shots, there's no arguing. After that, we went to a little place where we went ahead and bought some smoothies. And the smoothies were really good one of them was tropical breeze that's the one my husband had and i had pina colada it was excellent which i paired with leftovers from pf chang's where i had mongolian beef the day before now today we went to a little ice cream shop that is called ice something i, I can never remember the name of the place but anyway this little basically what they do is rolled up ice cream and I do have a video, but before I show you the video, I wanted to show you the concoctions created for my husband and my daughter, which have brownies in them. Yes, I was jealous, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and it was absolutely delicious. Mine was chocolate on chocolate on chocolate because it was the only one that was gluten-free. 
Now they have smoothies as well and they have other drinks and we are going to try those late at a later time. But the ice cream, the roll, the whole process of rolling the ice cream, I could sit there all day and just stare at them doing that. That was an experience. Watching them was an experience. So now let's get to the part that I wanted to explain to you so that you see where the numbers are coming from. Now, if you've heard me talk about this before, you know that I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to walk up to 70,000 steps a day. The video that I'm showing you at this particular moment is showing you the amount of steps that I've done in the weeks prior to this week. I have gotten close to 70,000 steps. I don't think I've ever, I think one week in recent months, I actually made it to 75,000 steps. But more often than not, I am in 60s, 50,000, 60,000 steps. Now you might ask me, if you are planning on walking 8,000 steps a day, five days a week, how do you pretend to get to 70,000 steps a week? Well, that's really simple because I'm counting the goal of 8,000 steps, five days a week, is the goal for the actual walk in the morning. The rest of the day is what becomes the 10,000, 11,000 steps. Now, if I walk 8,000 steps in the morning, which I usually walk more than that because the three, four, or five miles can be very easily become 12,000 steps just in the morning walk, depending on how fast I walk and how long I walk for. Once I get home, the average day I walk 2,000 to 3,000 steps, whether it's because I go to the post box to get the mail or because we have to go to a grocery store or sometimes it's even my daughter tells me I want to go walking or my husband says let's go for a walk and we go for a walk. So that is where those steps keep piling up. Now, if I actually do the 8,000 plus steps in the morning five days a week, then on the days that I only do two and 3,000 steps, which should be two a week, I already accumulated 5,000 steps. So all I have to do is 65,000 steps a week, which again, if I'm walking 12, 13,000 steps in the average walk, that should be an easy thing for me to accomplish. Now this week is probably not going to be one of those weeks because as I'm looking at my numbers, it is one of those things where I am averaging about 10,000 steps before I come home. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but that's why I wanted to keep the accountability and keep showing you guys what I do. Now, this last three pains that I'm showing you are actually what happens during an average day. And of course I picked yesterday. If you look at the green markers, those are the walk in the morning. And the reason why I decided to take those three shots is because one of them shows you when it's intense walking and when it's light walking. Then the rest of the orange markers, one of the things the Fitbit makes you do is move at least 250 steps every hour. What I'm planning on doing with that is that as I'm sitting here working, because I cannot sit for more than an hour without moving, what I'm planning on doing is every time the Fitbit tells me I have to walk, and this is during the day, not at night, um, I will go ahead and get up from the desk and just march in place and get to 250 steps done. All the other times that you see the little orange markers, is if we went to the store or if we went to the car or we went to the post office or whatever we went. It also marks when I go and pick up my daughter because when I pick up my daughter, I usually have to walk to the car and get back in the car, and get back out of the car. So that's what those markers are. And basically that's how I'm determining what I can and cannot do to get in good physical shape again. Now, I would love to hear if any of you are doing any kind of physical activity, especially for those of you who live in colder places. What do you do to keep from going insane in this cold weather? We're having relatively good weather. Unfortunately, it's wet, so it's not great. But I would love to hear in the comment section below what's up with you guys. And I absolutely thank you for watching and thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Even if I don't say anything, if I just like your comment, 
and don't say anything, believe me, I'm reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.